No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not ready for that yet. Well, I was just kidding. <laughs> I won't actually be throwing out my iPhone. I will keep this forever. This was my very first iPhone. It has a lot of sentimental value. As much as I kind of hate this phone now because how bad and frustrating it's been for me, I will still keep this forever. But after five to six years, I will finally buy a new iPhone. <laughs> I will be upgrading from the iPhone 6s Plus to the iPhone 13 Pro Max which is crazy, it is a very big jump. But when I bought this phone, I made a promise to myself to use this to the max until it won't work anymore and currently this phone has been giving me a lot of trouble. One, the battery is sucks. I need to charge this phone at least 3-5 to five times a day. It already scratches really badly. It just really bad physically. The displays have been acting up kind of weird for the past couple of months. Every time I close an app, it will kind of ghosting a bit. It, I don't know if that's the right word for it, but it will still have some kind of remnant from the previous page that I just opened. And it will always uninstalled and delete the apps that I have on its own which is really weird it's very very slow and just everything about it is very old obviously because this is a very old iPhone and I'm going to buy the 13 so that's like a seven generation jump which will be kind of a shock everything on the new phone will be way better I originally wanted to buy the iPhone 12 but last year I decided to save up my money for an iPad Pro first because last year my phone can still kind of work and I really really wanted an iPad so I decided to use my money to buy the iPad first and I made a promise I will buy the iPhone 13 no matter what. I don't care how it looks, what color, I don't care if the upgrade big or small compared to the iPhone 12, I will buy the iPhone 13. I've been manifesting the iPhone 13 since last year. Now I don't really know what color I will get. I've been watching a lot of unboxing video and every day I always change my opinion. Sometimes it's white, sometimes it's gold, sometimes it's the Sierra blue. Blue is not my favorite color but that Sierra blue looks really amazing and that color is very unique to this iPhone 13 Pro line so maybe I should choose that one if you ask me last year I will probably choose either the graphite or the silver I'm just going to the Apple store and see it for myself compare the color on my hand and see what I like more but no matter what color I will end up with I know that it will be amazing because every single color is amazing so as long as it's a new iPhone <laughs> I'm happy and my birthday is in two weeks so it's like perfect because now I can count my iPhone as a birthday gift for me. back home with my new iPhone which is this right here this is the iPhone 13 Pro Max with 128 gigabytes of memory in the color Sierra blue like I don't know up until the very last minute I still haven't truly decided on what color I truly want but finally my choice land in this one because seeing it in person in the store I cannot deny how captivating and beautiful this color is it looks amazing in person in some light it looks blue in some light it looks a little bit more gray if this is like truly blue I don't think I'll choose this color but since this is a very very unique blue in my opinion finally choose this one over the gold even though the gold is 
honestly so incredible it looks expensive it's beautiful in person like every single color they have in the pro line is truly incredible and i don't think i will get bored with this color if i don't want to look at the color again i can just cover it with a phone case and at the end of the day this color is very unique and limited to the 13 pro line so i'm pretty sure the next generation iphone probably won't have this color anymore so this is what the box itself looks like shown the true size and color of the iphone itself for the pro line they have this very sleek minimalist simple black box with the iphone logo at the top and also it says iphone at the side here with the corresponding color to what the actual iphone color is if you choose the gold iphone the iphone text and the apple logo itself will also be gold this is what the back looks like as you can see the box itself doesn't have a plastic seal anymore I'm kind of bummed at first because we don't we won't get that very satisfying unboxing part rip the seal and everything but obviously this is much much better for the environment and i think that's way more important than a very satisfying unboxing but we still get this kind of sticker seal at the top and the very bottom here so that can still be a little bit satisfying in my opinion i also already bought a couple accessories which we'll get to that later so let's just open this okay are you ready? Oh my god, this is... I've seen it already at the store, like I said before, but oh my god, seeing it in person here in my room... Oh my god, I've been waiting for a new phone for more than five years and i think i made the very perfect timing because not only did i truly need a new phone i feel like i truly spent my money well on that phone i'm glad i wait for this one it has an amazing camera which i think is truly one of the best selling point for this iphone it will be amazing for filming vlogging and everything and this color is truly like it is beautiful I mean look at that it truly is a beautiful color and the camera as huge as it is I think I don't know I like the way it looks and obviously this part is a little bit more matte and the side here is metallic almost like glass which as you can see very fingerprinty I don't know if that's a word but <laughs> I mean that's not gonna be a problem because I will be putting a case on this phone always oh my god <laughs> okay let's get to the box first we all know now at this point that we won't get any charging brick ever again we only get this cable a USB-C to lightning cable and we also get this thing inside this thing to open up the sim card we also get a couple i don't know if it's manual or warranty card or something instructions which i'm glad that they choose to make it smaller because let's be honest here none of us truly read that thing anymore and we also get one apple sticker every time i get one i never use them yeah but it's still fun and exciting i guess every every time we get a new sticker even though it's kind of useless but now let's get all of this to the side first you know what before we turn it on i feel like it's better for me to put the screen protector first you know to be safe and everything i already bought one this one right here This is the screen protector that I bought. I bought this tempered glass screen protector from 
ESR. I've heard a lot of great things about this brand, especially for like phone and iPad, laptop accessories and stuff. From what I've seen online, this will make applying your screen protector very easy because they have a lot of guides. And so like this. Inside the box, we get a cleansing kit. I don't know what this is. An instruction. This guide. So you put this on top of your iPhone. The screen protector itself. And we actually get two screen protector inside this box. I don't think I will ever need both of them. But, you know, it never hurt to have a backup. So first, we need to clean this, the iPhone screen first. So inside we have the wet wipes, the dry wipes, and this dust removal sticker. Wait, why is this box actually not straight? You know what? I should just use the back of it. That's, yeah, that's much better. Oh, of course it's not straight. We have the camera which is kind of protrude out. So that makes sense why it's like, yeah, <laughs> should have realized that sooner. It is the microfiber cloth. And now we use the sticker. Okay, that's clean enough, I think. I don't see any dust. Oh, now I see one. I feel like I should move really fast here because if not, the phone will just collecting dust on its own. Okay, now put the installation frame. Now we open this. Wait, no. Um, I don't know if that's... <laughs> I feel like the guide made it a little bit harder for me. Without the guide, I can kind of see the sides a little bit better. Now I cannot really see it. Hopefully, this will be straight. I don't know, the side... Is a little bit off I don't know if you can see it but it doesn't really cover the whole side as perfectly as the installation guide thing but let's just open this and hope it <laughs> I mean yeah it's not too bad actually this is what it looks like this is the perfect fit so when you put a case it won't disturb the case and everything so it fits the case and the phone and the whole thing perfectly now let's just turn on the iphone and i'm kind of nervous <sighs> i don't know why oh my god okay why that took so long <gasps> oh my god it looks so good <sighs> oh my god the screen is actually really big I'm just gonna let this play out. We have hello in so many different language. Okay, I think that's enough. <laughs> First, we choose the language, which I will choose English. And then we choose the country. Quick start or set up manually. You can do a quick start. You just have to bring your previous iPhone or iPad near your new phone to set it up, which I think I'm going to do. You know what? Why not just set it up manually? Because for my iPad, I set it up automatically. So why not just see what the manual setup look like? Okay. 
I have to put in my passcode from my previous iPhone. It immediately changes the background to the dark mode because that's what I usually prefer. By the way, let me know in the comment section down below, do you prefer the light mode or the dark mode? I personally love the dark one. Okay, now it's time for me to set up my face ID, which obviously my very old iPhone 6s Plus don't have that. This iPhone only have the fingerprint with touch ID. <laughs> That's what I meant. I already have an experience with Face ID from my iPad, which I actually really like, but I feel like Face ID will be much better on your phone than on iPad because my iPad is very, very big and it's kind of heavy when you're lying down and have to use your Face ID and stuff. By the way, that's my lighting, so sorry for that, but I'm just going to set up my Face ID. Just have to move my face you have to do that twice and then it's completely done okay this is the terms and conditions obviously agree don't need to read all of that make this your new iphone Appearance dark, yes, I will still use the dark mode. Screen time on, location surface is on, continue. Keep your iPhone up to date, um, yes. Get iCloud, um, not now. iPhone analytics, share with Apple. Do I need to share that? Mm, don't share. Okay, now I need to wait for the phone to restore. My iCloud estimated time around 20 to 25 minutes but I've seen enough unboxing video to know that it usually takes longer than that two hours later you know what while we wait for this process why don't we just open up the other accessories that I bought I bought this very cheap clear iPhone case just for the time being because I already ordered a couple of very cute but cheap <laughs> cases from aliexpress and stuff but they haven't arrived yet it usually takes a long time like about a month even though i actually already bought the cases a couple of weeks ago before i actually bought the iphone i ordered this yesterday it's already here just for the time being just so i can use the phone without having to worry about the phone scratches or something so this is just a very cheap, random, just simple <laughs> clear case. I don't really mind actually. I like clear cases, especially if it's a brand new phone. I can actually look at the color of the iPhone. Oh, I actually really like how it looks. The charging brick for the iPhone from the brand Anchor or Anchor, I don't know how to pronounce this brand but I bought a couple of things from this brand before and so far I really like the quality. Quite affordable for what they are compared to other brands, especially compared to the Apple products itself. And I bought the Anchor PowerPort Atom PD1. looks like this is qu it's quite small actually it's bigger than the usual iPhone charger but it is smaller than my iPad charging block if you already have an iPad or the previous iPhone like the iPhone 12 or something obviously you can use your previous charging block because they used USB-C as well on their charging block I have the iPad Pro 2021 with 20 watts of power it's obviously going to charge your iPhone faster or sufficient enough, but I decided to buy another charging block, you know, just in case I will need to charge my iPad 
and my iPhone at the same time. I've heard amazing thing about the charging block from Anchor. The brand itself is pretty good especially for the price. The build quality is amazing. It doesn't feel or look cheap whatsoever in my personal opinion. But I believe this supports up to 28 or 30 watts. I don't know which one is correct. I kind of forgot but it does support fast charging. I didn't choose the one with the cable. I have a different option. The 20 watts charging block from Anchor is very very tiny. It's much more convenient for traveling and stuff. But I decided to buy this one because like I said, it supports bigger watts. I can charge my phone even faster. And the time remaining is now about an hour. Well... <laughs> one eternity later. Restore completed. Continue. Welcome to iPhone. Swipe up to get started. Okay. And that's it. Okay, obviously I have every single apps that I have before. I will reorganize and redesign the widgets and everything. And I'm thinking of maybe making another what's in my iPhone video now that I have a new and upgraded iPhone. I had one for my iPhone 6s Plus with the iOS 14 or something. I have that video up on my channel. If maybe you are interested in that i will link that video down below and also up here from the information i gather this iphone 13 is not actually a huge jump compared to the iphone 12 pro it does have a higher frame rate better batteries it now have promotion which is amazing it's not only better when you scroll through your phone like it's really really fast but also it will automatically change the frame rate depends on the apps and display that you're currently using overall be more efficient and better for you your phone and your batteries but the most noticeable upgrades are obviously the camera i mean you can even tell by just looking at the phone it is much much bigger compared to the previous one especially compared to my very old iphone 6 i mean look at that that is ridiculously huge i mean look at the difference that's kind of funny okay obviously now you can choose a photographic style for your camera it has the standard mode rich contrast vibrant warm and cool i usually like more cool tones so maybe i will use the cool but i also really like vibrant but for now i will just use the standard version first to see if i like it or not i mean as you can see this is the photo this is the zoom out version which you can kind of see a little bit of distortion up here this is the very zoom in mode this is the portrait with you can kind of change the studio light natural light contour light there's a lot of mode you can choose this is the portrait mode obviously you can see it if it will kind of blur out the background it is more bokeh this is the panoramic mode. This is the video mode. It will still zoom in a little bit, just like the previous phone, but it's not much, in my opinion. You can already tell this is a very good camera quality. Oh my god. I'm so excited to be able to use this for filming, fogging outside, because I usually film with my phone when I'm outside. I don't really bring my camera. I I don't know, I still don't feel comfortable fogging in public, so now I can be able to fog a little bit more freely and comfortably with my phone just like usual but with a much better quality which is very exciting. Now this is the very brand new one, the cinematic mode, which I will be able to get so much better quality of b-rolls and I'm excited for that. slow motion time lapse we will be able to get to 15 times of zoom now which is crazy close
I mean the details is crazy. Obviously I won't be able to compare this to a more recent iPhone but just in case you're wondering how big of a difference 7th generation iPhone can give you. For now, I think that's it. Please comment if you are interested on buying the iPhone 13. Which one, which color do you want? Is it the Sierra Blue? Is it the pink iPhone 13? Or if you already buy an iPhone 13 Pro, how do you like it? Are you impressed with the quality and the upgrades? For me personally, I'm super impressed. I'm so excited to play around with it. I'm so excited for my new phone that is actually functional like normally. And I'm also really glad that I chose the Sierra Blue because looking at it now in my hand, I made the right choice. And I hope this one will last a very long time for me just like my last iPhone 6s Plus. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you like it. If you do, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and maybe consider to subscribe to my channel. I will be forever grateful for that. And lastly, I just want to say thank you so much for watching and I hope I can see you in my next video. Bye guys.